Sunday was another windy day in La Molina, Spain, as the 2013 IPC Alpine Skiing World Championships continued with the slalom competition. Slovakia's defending champion Henrietta Farkasova, guided by Natalia Sobotova, was back on top form to take gold in the women's visually impaired class. Farkasova won the downhill on the first day of competition, but a mistake by Sobotova at the start of the Super G cost them a place on the podium. After Thursday's setback, the pair came back fighting. The extremely technical course was a real challenge for them, not least due to the transitions from harsh sunlight to shade in the morning, but also because of the fairly strong winds. Farkasova's time of 2 minutes, 8.92 seconds, placed her ahead of Russia's Super G world champion, Alexandra Fancheva who was guided by Pavel Zabotin. Fanceva took silver and Canada's Vancouver 2010 Paralympic silver medalist Vivian Ferré, guided by Chloe Lauzon Gautier, made her come back to international competition by taking bronze. Tak táto veda ma určite veľmi potešila, nakoľko uh, slalom je moja asi najväčšia slabina. Uh, to som sa rozbiehala v tom prvom kole, bolo to také náročnejšie, ale udržala som si prvú pozíciu a v druhom kole som sa snažila dať do toho maximum a vyšlo to. No do ďalších pretekov dúfam, že... Že to bude tiež dobré, je to, sú to tie lepšie disciplíny, myslím si, pre mňa, takže budem sa urobiť maximum, aby som urobila čo najlepší výsledok. Frances Marie Boucher maintained her sensational form on the third day of competition by claiming her third gold medal in as many events, this time in the slalom. She took a really aggressive line with clean carving action and used her carbon fiber cover on her left arm to clear the gates. In testing conditions, which saw many high profile skiers in all classes not finish the course, 19 year old Boschet ensured she remains on course for a clean sweep of all individual medals in the women's standing class by adding to the world titles she already has in downhill and super G. Boshe took gold, whilst Germany's downhill silver and Super G bronze medalist Andrea Rothfuss picked up her second silver of the championships. Canada's Alexandra Starker, a graduate of an IBC development in 2006, picked up a bronze, her first major international medal. Oui, alors c'est vraiment génial. Trois médailles d'or, c'est juste, c'est inespéré. Je suis vraiment très, très contente. Surtout cette médaille en slalom qui me titillait depuis quelques années. Quatrième place au jeu. Je ne peux pas faire le slalom à Sestrière parce que je tombe. C'est vraiment une médaille auquel je tenais parce que c'est ma discipline. Et donc voilà, je suis très, très contente. In the women's sitting class, Germany's Anna Schafferhuber successfully defended her world title and picked up her first gold of the championship. The 20-year-old, who earlier this week won Super G silver and downhill bronze, was well ahead of the field and finished her two runs in a time of 2 minutes, 26.18 seconds. A little bit of sliding on the turns did cost her time, but she recovered well. Veurem quin és el temps final. Pendents del resultat, Anna Schaffel Huber Rumen, la seva compatriota Forster és la líder. Atenció, Anna Schaffel Huber. Líder, Anna Schaffel Huber, yes! And it was a German one too after Annalena Forster put in a sensational second run to move up from fourth to silver medal position.
bronze was won by Canada's Kimberly Jones, who has made a comeback to competitive skiing this season after taking time off for injuries. Kimberly Jones! Ja, also Slalom ist meine beste Disziplin gewesen und ich freue mich also voll, dass das funktioniert hat. Und es war also mein größtes Ziel, dass ich jetzt zum Slalom die Goldene mache. Und ja, also ich bin überglücklich. Also es war definitiv heute sehr, sehr schwer zum Fahren vom ganzen Kurs her, von der Strecke. Der Schnee war sehr, sehr aggressiv zum Fahren. Und ähm, also nach dem ersten Lauf wollte ich eigentlich schon unten sein, den zweiten. Und also wie ich es gelesen habe, dann auf dem Tableau, das ich gewonnen habe, war überglücklich. There was a shock in the men's visually impaired class when home favourite Jon Santacana Meister Grey, guided by Miguel Galindo Gathes, a winner of two golds already in La Molina and slalom leader at the halfway point, crashed out during his second run. As a result, Russia's Ivan Fransev, guided by German Agronovsky, won his first gold of the championships. Skiing aggressively throughout the run, the young Russian star pushed his way forward into top position. Fransev, the brother of silver medalist Alexandra Fransova, was joined on the podium by teammate Valery Redkozabov guided by Vyacheslav Rodkozabov, who took bronze with a time of 2 minutes and 11 seconds. And Slovakia's Miroslav Horaus, guided by Maria Zatobikova, who was fifth on the first run, posted the fastest time in the second run, which was good enough to take silver. И буду стараться дальше. Это возможно. И много перспектив еще у меня. На данный момент, благодаря нашему руководству и нашим тренерам и Ларис Сергеевны, я доктор наш Ларис Сергеевна. Вот благодаря им я начинаю себя чувствовать гораздо выше и человеком. Все. The men's standing event was a real battle to the end, with many skiers struggling with the conditions. Of the 28 competitors who started the first run, eight failed to finish, whilst three were disqualified. Going into the second and final run, just one-tenth of a second separated France's defending world champion Vincent Gaultier-Manuel in first place and New Zealand's Adam Hall in third. But it was the 26-year-old Frenchman who came out on top to take gold. Like his teammate Marie Boucher, he had excellent footwork, carving cleanly whilst taking a tight line through the course. <laughs> Best time once again for Vincent Gautier Manuel. One minute, 55 seconds, 85. Silver went to Switzerland's Thomas Fiel, whilst Vancouver 2010 Paralympic champion Adam Hall took bronze, giving New Zealand their first medal of the championships. Yeah, it's a little awkward spot. Thank you. I can see there's no sports in your manager. Oui, bah, c'est là où j'ai commencé à performer, c'était en, en slalom, ici. En 2008, j'ai gagné ma première course en Coupe du Monde, donc j'avais de, de, de bonnes sensations ici. Et voilà, je suis content de réussir à refaire une médaille d'or euh, sur la même piste. La dernière race de la nuit était la classe de sitting class, qui, comme like la classe de standing class, avait sa fair share de casualties dans le premier run. Of the 34 skiers who started the course, only 15 made it through to the second run. 
with the likes of Canada's Josh Duarc and German duo Thomas Neuter and Franz Hanstingel all crashing out. Bernardingen took a really aggressive line through the slalom, making his turns almost look effortless. After the first run, Austria looked set for a clean sweep of the medals, with 32-year-old Philipp Bernardingen leading the way from his teammates Roman Rabo and Dietmar Dorn. Vancouver Bombs medalist Bernardingen held on to win gold, whilst his teammate Dawn did enough to win bronze. Unfortunately, Rabo was one of six skiers who failed to finish their second run, and as a result, Japan's Taiki Mori, Thursday's Super G gold medalist, took advantage to claim silver. Also, das war einer der schwersten Rennen, die ich je gefahren bin, weil die Strecke und die Piste war sehr anspruchsvoll. Da war alles dabei, von Eis, von kompaktem Schnee, sehr schwierige Linienverhältnisse. Und ich glaube, die Ausfallsquote zeigt auch, wie schwer der, der Lauf war. Und mir ist er ganz gut gelungen heute und ja, ich bin froh, dass es so gut gegangen ist.